Hey there, it's James with The Verge. I'm here at IFA in Berlin, and I've got with me the Huawei Mate S, uh, Huawei's new flagship smartphone. Now, this is a 5.5 Android device, like many Android devices we've seen. 5.5 uh, inches seems to be the preferred screen size for everything from the, the Moto X Play to the OnePlus 2. But Huawei's big standout feature on this one is Force Touch, a name you might recognize from Apple. Now, Force Touch basically means a pressure sensitive screen, and you can do things with that, like uh, you know, press harder to zoom into a picture or scroll faster through music or video. Now, Huawei's kind of unveiled this um, a bit of an attention grabber. You know, they're not putting it on all the Mate S's, they're only putting it on certain models, they're not saying how many, but it means they might have stolen a march on Apple. Now, Apple's got Force Touch in the Apple Watch and the MacBook, but a lot of people think that it's also going to be coming to the next iPhone. Um, if so, then Huawei might have beaten them to it. So, apart from Force Touch, what else has the Mate S got? Well, it's got a very nice design. They've really put a lot of effort into this. Um, now, as we mentioned before when discussing this company and this smartphone, it kind of is a little bit similar to other devices we've seen. Um, you know, we have the chamfered, ed chamfered edges that you might have seen on sort of HTC One M9, as well as the camera at the back. Now, this whole area looks very familiar to any HTC fans. Um, although, unlike HTC One M9, uh, this 30 megapixel camera has optical image stabilization. Uh, as well as the 13 megapixel on the back, there's also an 8 megapixel camera on the front. Um, there's three gigabytes of RAM powering this, and instead of the usual Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, there's actually a Kirin OctaCore. Um, now, this might not be familiar to many people buying smartphones in the West, but we've really liked the performance on it. Animations have been very smooth, no stuttering, no lagging. So, you know, we've no complaints. It's a, it's a very speedy little device. Um, there's also a fingerprint sensor right here on the back, which is hmm, maybe one of the fastest we've used. I mean, just a touch and the screen lights up. <laughs> it didn't light up there, did it? And also got a fingerprint sensor on the back, which might be one of the fastest we've used. Um, goes from just a touch to lighting up pretty much instantly, so that's impressive as well. But for all the nice things about the Mate S, unfortunately people in the US and the UK won't be getting their hands on it. Now Huawei is only is calling this a global smartphone, but actually limited availability. Uh, it's going to be in 30 countries though, Japan, Germany, China, Israel, um, with a 32 gigabyte and a 64 gigabyte version. They're going to be priced at 649 euros for the 32 gigabyte, 699 for the 64 gigabyte.